Something that really grabbed a hold of my attention was the experience of playing with someone who had really no concept of rhythm guitar. When I was really young, I was watching a late night television program, and it featured Steve Cropper. He wrote alongside Otis Redding, Doc of the Bay. He was stressing the importance of rhythm guitar, equating guitar with the drums, equating guitar with a percussion instrument, saying that all you have to do is get the percussion down, mute your strings, and start playing those rhythms, like so. Just play it like the drums. Just groove, you know. And if you can get that down, that's the first step. Any rhythm at all. Especially when I was in music school, where everyone was paying top dollar for an education in music. Few of those players could play rhythm guitar effectively. Few of them could actually keep time. It didn't make any sense to me that they couldn't keep time. There was one guy specifically that I was playing with who basically would play his solo. I would play the rhythm guitar and I would be keeping it up. Then we would switch off and I would play my solo, but then he couldn't keep up the rhythm at all. If you can't keep rhythms going, then what's the point of being a lead player? Because really, leads are rhythms. It takes that kind of skill where you can play rhythm and you can play lead. Not just playing rhythm, not just playing lead, playing rhythm and lead. If you listen to John Coltrane or Miles Davis, that's what they did. If you listen to great piano players like McCoy Tyner, that's what they did. It's really tough to be a lead player if you can't play the rhythms because you're going to lose your place. And it's something that I know that a lot of players don't really focus on. It's really about the rhythms first, you know, and just laying back there and grooving. play all different types of rhythms. And if you learn to do so, then you can play leads that are very rhythmic in tone and flavor. So I'll take the riff from my song, The Music's Playing, and I'll show you how to do that. The riff is this. So you can move and you can groove to it. If you're going to play drums along to this, could basically be playing leads while I'm keeping the rhythm. Back to guitar. Here's a drummer. Guitar. Drums. Most players, they don't have this sort of vocabulary. Hi, this is Marcus Singletary. Please subscribe to my channel.